everyone! This is Mira from Fit for Good with another online all seated session for you. Today we'll detox our body with exercise. Exercise can kickstart the natural detox process as it flushes out the lungs, cleanses the skin as we work up a sweat. Exercising also increases the blood flow, promoting better circulation to pop those white blood cells through the body and help vital organs clean themselves effectively. All you need for today's session is your dance shoes. Yes, I'm not kidding. We will be replicating some fun dance moves during the warm-up and the cardio part of the main workout. Also, you need a pair of dumbbells for the strength part of the workout and a big glass of water throughout the exercise to keep yourself hydrated. Now, let's have fun. Let's get active together. Let's get ready for a fun-filled warm-up. We'll be using various signature dance movements to encourage mobility and coordination. Please take a nice seated position, legs, knees at 90 degrees angle, core is tight, chest is upright, shoulders are up, back and down. You've got the nice upright back. From here, I'd like you to start by rolling your neck clockwise two times and then anti-clockwise two times. You decide on the speed, let's begin. We don't want anyone getting dizzy here, so do it nice and slowly and as big circle as you wish. And I'm changing direction now. You could only do one big circle, but quality range of movement. And relax. Now I'd like you to look up and look down very gently and slowly. Wonderful. Let's do a few shoulder rolls backwards. About five is just enough. My hands are next to my thighs. And I'll change direction now. Let's do a few circles forwards coming through my shoulders. I'm trying to warm up the shoulder girdle. Great job. Now I'd like you to start rolling your torso left and right. So it's a torso roll or torso rotation. What I do here is I go around the clock. You could do anti-clockwise start whichever direction you would like and I actually shift my weight forward, side, back, side, forward, side, back, side and I'm trying to use my torso, it looks like this if I put my hands you can see and I'm also using a lot of my hips to create this movement, it's a nice movement, let's try and change direction now, great Carry on, we can do it. We are warming up lower back, we're warming up hips and core muscles. Now, I'd like you to do the happy dance. So direction that you are going, I'd like you to extend your arms forward and do, I know, I'm happy, I can do it. That's it. I'm sure you've heard many times children going about that song. Now let's change direction. So you carry on with the hip rotation if you could coordinate both. And let's do the happy dance arms. There we go. We are warming up arms at the same time as upper body. Wonderful. Relax. Now I'd like you to start shifting your weight left and right. So I'm lifting my hip up, left and right. What that causes is a little flex in your rib cage. We're warming up the pelvic floor muscles, back again and core. This is part of also a very signature movement in the salsa. If I do it fast, you will find out. Yes, now could you try and add some 
figure eight arms let's down salsa you don't have to rush it nice and slow if you couldn't do the figure eight arms you could do the rolls that's it carry on shifting your weight from side to side there we go let's be nice and gentle and subtle wonderful now what i'd like you to do is to try and add some legs movement so it's knees i'm doing knees salsa i carry on with the arms this is warming up my whole upper body for all the way from the shoulders down to my wrist you could add some more wrist into the movement and let's do some nice knee movements if you want you could do just knee raises or you could do a little bit of a salsa step left and right left and right left and right a little bit of knee going left and right yes you feel it wonderful we are nearly there we are moving on to jive so i'd like you to do the tap forward tap to the side tap back and middle tap front tap side tap back tap middle there we go i'll just push my chair so let's do it together tap 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 and back tap 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 and middle front right back and middle front back right and middle you don't have to add any hands that's the clock of the jive a very signature movement yes and we are warming up legs knees ankles everything and we are having fun you could add some hands it's up to you as if you're drumming yes you could do it as fast or as slow as you would like let's do this tap so tap at the front tap at the side tap at the back middle tap front tap side tap back middle let's do it we can do it yes wonderful and relax now we could do a little bit of twist what would you say about that so we'll be twisting so we're twisting left to right and it's coming from my hips here so i'm twisting left and right and i'm on my toes like so and i'm adding also some arms so i'm warming up also my rotator cuff so can you join me now let's twist i'm on my toes and my heels are up and i'm just twisting my whole hips left and right there we go warming whole body performing a nice rock and roll twist yes we can do it wonderful and relax now what i'd like you to do is to twist lean forward and come back so it's part of the twist isn't it so you lean forward add some nice jiggy shoulders and back yes we are leaning up and back like in a twist in pairs like rock and roll join me when you're ready i try to exhale on the way forward and i inhale in the middle and then exhale on the way back so i am adding some movement in my shoulders you could do whatever you like obviously with your upper body just try to lean forward and lean back gently and imagine you are doing a nice rock and roll lean forward and back it's fun wonderful and relax now we'll do a little bit of paso doble so i'd like you to start by raising your knees 
nice and gently we are warming up only your heart rate is probably raising up which is the idea of the warm-up as well so as you're lifting your knees gently not too high not too fast I'd like you to imagine that you are the macho and you extend your arms up in a very proud manner and down yes and again up passo doble and down yes we can do it let's do it again and slowly down nice upright back and chest are up if you could for a bit of bit of extra effect you could follow your arms up with your gaze and down very dramatic and again we are warming up entire body well done and now i'd like you to imagine that you are doing a little bit of cha-cha-cha so and that will be the end of the warm-up so a little bit of cha-cha-cha movement i'd like you to do a little bit faster movement so cha-cha-cha step step cha-cha-cha step step cha-cha-cha step step cha-cha-cha step step can you follow me i'm sure you can if you don't just raise your knees and do some movement coming from your arms so cha 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 step step 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 great job and we'll finish with the cha cha pulse which is cha 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 pulse with your arms forward and cha 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 arms forward pulse and cha 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 pulse pulse cha 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 pulse pulse cha 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 wonderful job i truly hope you enjoyed this very different warm-up get ready for circuit one of the cardio circuit I hope you have got your dance shoes on, you have rehydrated and now you're ready to conquer circuit one of the main workout. This is going to be your cardio fitness circuit. We'll perform various movements inspired by Charleston. That is a very popular dance style and I've selected five signature movements so to build your cardio endurance and stimulate your mobility. I will demonstrate those five movements of Charleston right away and then you will have 20 seconds to perform each one of these movements followed by 10 seconds break. So the first one is the twist. How we do the twist is we tap our heels and I'm standing on my toes. So my toes are down, my heels are up and I'm only opening and closing them. So out and in, out and in, out and in. Let's build the mobility in our cuffs, ankles. We're building strength in this area. And then for those of you who, add, who can coordinate, you could add also the opening in Charleston opening style. You could actually add a little bit extra fun by maybe leaning side to side. You do whatever makes you happy. So the basic move is the twist. So heels tap, 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 building strength in our calves, ankles and mobility. And you could add some hands and you could dance, add a little bit of fun coming from your shoulders, leaning side to side if you want. The second movement, that is the step forward and back. So it's done like so. Step, 
step. So step forward and tap your toes back to the middle and then your opposite leg is stepping back. So I'm touching my toes and come back to the middle. So it's step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. You could swing your arms left and right, left and right, left and right. Swinging those arms will increase your heart rate. Doing the steps back and forth is obviously putting a lot of tension in your legs and it's building your endurance. So this is going to be the second step that you will be performing for 20 seconds. The next step that is going to be the signature ham curl, which is which we've done before. So you're just curling or kicking back, trying to reach the chair and you could swing your arms up and down. I can do a big extension or big full range of movements coming from your arms. It looks like this sideways. Think Charleston beat. Play, why not play Charleston song? That's it. So that's the Charleston swing and I'm going to do the leg up, up and over. So we'll do the fourth movement is leg up, up and over if you could. So leg up, arms up, up and over, up, up and over up up and over notice when i do my hands up i lift the set the leg forward twice and then when we do the over i extend my arms and they go up and side and down you could just stand to the two pulses with the legs it's entirely up to you and then we will be finishing with the crease cross heel touch criss cross heel touch that's a lot of fun let's try it criss cross heel touch criss cross heel touch so we'll do criss cross if you cannot do heel touch just do a knee touch criss cross knee touch criss cross knee touch if you have to it will be fun if you try to reach your heel. Yes. So, these are the five movements. Don't worry, we'll have time to master them. We'll have round one. Let's give it a try. I will hit the timer and we'll start with the heel taps or the twist, twist and twist. Get ready. I'm hitting the timer and let's begin. The Charleston heel taps with twist. Yes, we can do it. Have fun. I truly hope you have already found that nice music to drive your movements. Three, two, one. Relax. Wonderful. I'll just pause the timer for a second just to get that sound off. And the next movement in five seconds is the step forward and back forward and back let's begin 20 seconds step forward and back swing your arms vigorously work these arms work these legs so step forward step back step forward step back you can do it i hope that song is playing in your head three two one relax 10 seconds to take a deep breath in i'll remind you it's hum curl let's get ready so hum curl with big arm swings yes we are dancing so hum curl with big arms swings forward and back three two one relax take a deep breath in we will do the leg up up and over so three 
two, one, up, up and over, up, up and over, up, up and over, five more seconds, up, up and over, and up, up and over, relax, wonderful, one last movement, movement five is the crisp, Cross with the heel tap. Three, two, one. Criss, cross, heel tap. Criss, cross the opposite heel tap. Criss, cross, heel tap. Criss, cross, heel tap. Criss, cross, heel tap. Criss, cross, heel tap. Last one, and we are going to have well deserved break. Take a deep Breath in and out, and I hope you're ready for one more round. I think it's worth repeating all these five movements once again. So we're going to have about a minute break. This is your chance. Take a deep breath in, grab yourself a glass of water if you have to, or pause the video. I'd like you to be enjoying and having fun. We've got 30 seconds and we'll repeat those five signature Charleston movements just one more time. Don't forget, you're basically exercising 100 seconds and you've got 50 seconds break. So it doesn't seem too much, but thanks to the interval training, that piles up and your body is feeling the movement. So I think we should begin. I will hit the timer. And we will get ready for the first movement and that was the heel tap with the arm twist. Let's begin. Three, two, one. Heel taps with arm taps or twist. You could go side to side. Have fun with it. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, the next movement you could do with the opposite leg now. So going forward, step, touch, back. Forward and back. Three, two, one. I will also add some side to side arm swings to make it more fun. And I'm really feeling the beat in my head. Yeah, I can do it because I love it. You can do it. It's good for you. Let's move. Three, two, one. Relax. Wonderful job. We carry on with the ham curl and big swings. In three, two, one. Kick back and give me some nice swings. Forward and back. Forward and back. If you want, just stay with the swinging of your arms. Don't worry about the legs. If you got tired, three, two, one. Wonderful job. Now we have got the fun movement. Leg up, up and over. So three, two, one. Up, up and over. Up, up and over. Try to follow my tempo. If not, choose your own. So it's two pulses up and over. Three, two, one, and last movement. I will miss this. So we've got five more seconds break and we will finish off with the crisscross and heel tap. Three, two, one. Criss, cross, heel tap. Criss, cross, heel tap. This is also what we call hip abduction. So it's building strength and endurance in your inner thigh and outer thigh. Three, two, one, and relax. I truly hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I'll see you shortly for circuit two. Circuit number two is based on strength movements to promote your strength and endurance through rotations, 
bends and movements in the spine. Along with that, the gentle compression and movement in the torso will help your digestive system move waste and toxins more efficiently. So get ready for a lot of twisting, rotations and all these sort of movements that will make you more flexible, strong and will detox your body. I have selected five exercises for this purpose. The first one is straight punches with a twist coming from your torso. I will demonstrate each one of them before we start. So I'm twisting my torso to the left and then I extend my arm to a full stretch with elbow not locked but straight and then I do exactly the same to the opposite side so I twist and punch diagonally so it looks like this. This exercise will last for 30 seconds and it's building strength in your arms but also the twist is promoting extra mobility in your spine and strength in your upper back. So the second exercise is the roller coaster knee raise. So I'd like you to hold your dumbbells together, hip level. From here, I'd like you to roller coast it around your head and let it reach the opposite head side of the hip. When you do this, I'd like you to raise your knee so it looks like so. Just be careful not to hit your knee with the dumbbells. This movement not only that promotes that squeeze and gentle compression in the area of the stomach, that will help you with the digestive system, but also it promotes strength in your core. The movement encourages your oblique muscles working, which are primary core muscles, and also it increases range of movement in your shoulders. So this is a compound exercise for shoulders, core, and will help you detox your digestive system because of the compression. Next exercise is the isometric hold overhead. So those dumbbells I'd like you to hold overhead. If you want, bring them together. If you want, have them shoulder width apart. And from here, I'd like you to side bend. That's going to last also 30 seconds. When you do the side bend, I'd like you to exhale, come to the middle, take a breath in and exhale on the other way. So if you do it fast, in one go, don't forget to breathe. This exercise develops strength in your shoulders. It's an isometric hold. That means although you're not doing the shoulder press, your hands are overhead, so your shoulders are constantly contracted, building important strength in this area. Doing the side bends again, it's squeezing that torso left and right, stimulating the detox process, but also you're developing strength in your core. Next, we are going to do the isometric biceps hold with the hip abduction. So I'd like you to hip abduct We've done that before, so it's done hip opening left and right. You can either glide your foot on the floor or you could lift and bring to the middle, lift to the side and bring to the middle. Throughout all this time when you're working your hips, I'd like you to hold your dumbbells as if you're doing the biceps curl. However, I don't put, I wouldn't like you to do the bicep squeeze. I'd like you just to hold those dumbbells like so, like so, or like so. Don't do the pump, just isometrically hold your biceps contracted. So that's going to be easy. You could add a little bit of twist along and 
The last exercise, of course, is the sit to stand, is the king of all functional exercises because it's building your incredibly important strength in your posterior chain, that's your lower back, glutes, quadriceps, hamstring, calf muscles and ankles. So the catch here is that when you stand up, I'd like you to go side left or right, it depends on you, using the dumbbells. So you twist to the side or rotate to the side and sit down by hinging your hips back. Try not to flop and always put your weight on your heels. Then next time you stand up, I'd like you to rotate or twist to the right and come back to the middle, sit with a nice controlled movement. So without any further ado, we know what we are doing. We've got 30 seconds for each exercise followed by 30 seconds break. I'll hit the timer and we'll start with a twist straight punch. Let's begin. Breathe throughout the exercises. Take deep breath in and out. Twist and extend nicely this arm. Nice extension diagonally. Twist through your body. We've got five seconds. Tempo is your choice. Three, two, one. Relax. You've got 30 seconds to gather your strength. Next exercise, I will remind you that is the roller coaster. It starts from the opposite hip. You roller coast these dumbbells around your head and they meet your opposite side of the hip by lifting the opposite knee. So it looks like this. Great. And let's begin. Three, two, one. Join me now. 30 seconds are being counted down. Breathe. You're working those shoulders, obliques and quadriceps by lifting those knees up. If you wish, you don't lift your knee. It doesn't really matter. Work. Three, two, one. Relax. Great job. We are going to do the isometric hold in 15 seconds. So I'm only reminding you, isometric hold overhead with a side bend. I'm taking deep breath in, then I side bend to the opposite side. In five seconds, we'll begin. Three, two, one. Take a deep breath in, be strong. Keep your shoulders strong, your arms are strong and your side bending. If this is too much, you can get rid of the dumbbells and just use your body weight. This exercise is not only going to detox because you're doing the bends and you are promoting that lovely movement in your digestive system, but you're also building strength in your shoulders. Three, two, one. Relax. Great job. 30 seconds break. That's a long break. Take deep breath in. Next exercise is the hip abductor. I'm going to demonstrate again with the biceps curl isometric hold. So don't pump those uh, biceps. I'd like you just to hold them contracted at all that time. Three, two, one. Hip abduction. And if you wish, add a little twist to that hip, but your biceps is contracted at all times. You decide how far you would like to keep those dumbbells. You've got 10 more seconds. Give your best. You are working your legs and biceps. Three, two, one. Relax. Great job. Now we'll finish off by doing the sit to stand. I'll demonstrate so I'm standing up to a full extension and then I'll go side 
and I'm going back down in a nice control movement. When I'm ready, I'll stand up and I'll go to the opposite side. So I'm twisting my torso. And three, two, one. Get ready. Let's perform a nice sit to stand, nice and strong. Try to stand up using the strength in your quadriceps. And when you go down again, hip hinge and nice control movement. Up, side, down, up, side, and down. Three, two, one. Relax. Great job. It's time to complete the session with a nice gentle stretching routine using some twisting postures and stretches with detoxing effect. We'll begin by taking a nice deep breath in. And exhale deeply out. Wonderful. Spread your arms out into a Y position and look up. Squeeze your shoulder blades behind, spread your arms, open those fingers, those palms, gather that energy, your chin is up, stretching your arms and neck at the same time. Now let's bend to the side and look up. And come back to the middle, take a deep breath in, and bend to the opposite side. And come back to the middle. Let's repeat this once again. Take a deep breath in, squeeze your shoulder blades, open the chest, look up. And take a deep breath in, bend to the side and look up. Your opposite arm can be resting on the chair for balance. Come back to the middle and exhale and bend to the opposite side. I'm looking up, I'm opening my heart, stretching the oblique, stretching back and relax. Now I'd like you to lift your arms up and bring your elbows together. For those of you who have got the mobility, I'd like you to even interwine your arms like so. This is the so-called eagle position. So I'd like you to interwine your elbows and arms or just touch your elbows or as close as possible. From here, I'd like you to also cross your legs you don't have to if you cannot. And now squeeze down, squeeze that belly down, lean forward. So we are contracting the abdominal muscles and we are squeezing that stomach, promoting that compression is promoting the digestive system. And up and relax. Now from here, I'd like you to stretch back and try and touch the chair of the seat, the back of the seat, like so. So we are doing the counter stretch. We are opening chest, we are extending that back. And now if you could give me a nice curve coming from your thoracic part of the back and if you could from your lumbar part of the back as well. Look up and now look down and relax. We'll repeat this one more time. So, eagle pose. I'd like you to bring your elbows together or interwine if you could. From here, now cross the opposite leg over or keep your legs out in hip width distance apart 
heart for balance. By doing this squeeze, we are detoxing our body. Now I'd like you to take a deep breath in and lean forward. And hold this position for 10 seconds if you could. Compress that belly, squeeze those glands in your armpits and in your private area. And come back up, inhaling and relax. Now try to grab hold of the backrest and exaggerate that curve. Push your chest forward. I'm gonna give you the side look and I'm gonna look up. And I'm going to look down. I'm stretching my neck and back and chest at the same time as well as my arms and relax now I'd like you to twist to the left exhaling so inhale in the middle twist exhale and look over your left shoulder that nice twist is another detox posture and relax now let's do the same the opposite way inhale in the middle exhale on the way right look over your right shoulder increase that range of movement every time you perform this body twist and relax great now i'd like you to lean forward if you wish you could have your palms on your knees for stability lean forward exhale go as far down as possible we are stretching the glutes we are opening the spine and let your neck relaxes just let everything loose down from here I'd like you to allow one arm down and you twist by looking up if you could bring one arm up as well hold this twist for a few seconds and release now the opposite side up and one arm up or arm down you're just looking up as you're twisting your neck and possibly your thoracic part of your spine your upper back and relax come back up gently and slowly press through your knees if you have to and relax we'll repeat this one more time this pose it's incredibly important because again you are squeezing your digestive system making it work better you're squeezing those glands detoxing your body so and you're increasing flexibility in your spine let's do this again take a deep breath in lean forward as you exhale one hand down or stays on your knees and you look up from here you stretch the opposite arm up and you're trying to look those fingers that are pointing the ceiling you will receive a nice stretch in your arms in your neck and you will twist your body as well detox twist remember now we would like to do exactly the opposite with the opposite side so my left arm is down my right arm is up and over pointing the ceiling and i'm looking up towards my right fingers I'm holding that position and I will relax now take a deep breath in as you come back up great we are nearly there I'd like you now to work a little bit on your hips I'd like you to bring one foot over the opposite knee from here you could press that knee down and lean forward or don't press it and just lean forward as you exhale 
try to keep your back straight you will feel a nice stretch in your glutes this is incredibly important stretch if you've got any problems with your sciatic nerve it's opening all the muscles that might be trapping that nerve there and relax let's do the opposite so opposite foot up and over that knee if you don't have that range of movement bring your knee down to the shin and just lean forward you will still feel the stretch now either press that knee down and lean forward or just lean forward without the pressing that knee down you will always feel that nice stretch in the hip area and breathe and come back up relax now i'd like you to lean back maybe scoot a little bit back towards the middle and at back of the chair lean back relax and bring one knee up as close as possible to your chest we are stretching the glutes and relax the opposite now and relax now i'd like you to stretch that hamstring it's incredibly important to take good care of our legs because they are the weight bearing apparatus of our body so what we are doing is stretching one leg forward point, toes pointing up to the ceiling i've chosen right leg first i will take balance by leaning over my left leg that is a 90 degrees angle and i will try and reach the toes of my right leg stretching towards it breathe few deep breaths in and out and come back up take a deep breath in and as you exhale we'll do exactly the same with the opposite leg try to increase that range of movement every time you lean forward every time you take a deep breath in on the exhale you can push further to extend the flexibility in the in the area and relax and we'll complete this with some quadriceps stretch for the quadriceps you would like to hold on to the back of the seat bring one foot up close to your buttocks and try to stretch the quadriceps hold a good balance if you cannot hold that leg up just go diagonally and let your knee go down that will still give you a nice stretch in this front part of your thighs relax and let's repeat with the opposite leg either that way or hold that foot up few deep breaths in and out and relax let's take one deep breath in and out to relax well done you have just completed the session i truly hope you enjoyed it i'm giving you a big big round of applause you deserve it you should be proud of yourselves I truly hope you enjoyed this session and if you did please don't forget to like it to share with a friend we have got our YouTube fit for good channel so don't forget to subscribe it's always a pleasure to read your comments and feedback so please feel free leave those thoughts just there on our website below the screen of the session or on our Facebook page Meanwhile, please stay safe, keep well, look after yourself and I will see you next time.